Okay, everybody, this is the third video. Um, so short and sweet, building on the first two videos, <clears throat> looking for the strengths in our child as they're telling us about whatever excites them at the moment, whether it's something really good, whether it's not something really good. We're listening on the one level to the, what they have to tell us about something that happened that they're excited about one way or the other, happy or sad. Uh, and then on the other level, we're looking for the resilient skills they're demonstrating while they're telling that story, right? So what's happening in that process? You're developing <clears throat> a new way of looking at your child, right? And as you do that, as you're looking for these strengths in your child, guess what? You've got those strengths in yourself. Otherwise, you wouldn't recognize them in your child. So you're kind of cultivating your own resilient strength while you're looking at it and looking for it in your child. Now, <clears throat> real important framework I want to offer you for this video. There are five ways to think about uh, this progression in the development of a really resilient strength. I'm going to tell you a story to, to give an example about how, what doesn't build, build resilience. We've all been in a grocery store line, let's say, and there's a parent behind us and they, they got, let's say, a four-year-old or a six-year-old or something, and the kid's rummaging through the candy and the parent's in a hurry, they're trying to go through their purse or their wallet or whatever, trying, you know, get the food onto the, onto the, um, uh, under the uh, conveyor belt thing and the kids distracting them and the kid wants something and 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 the parent kind of tugs on their arm and says you know be patient well let's take that apart a little bit and think of what the kids experience is be patient the word patient and the kids experience of the parent saying be patient don't match the kid is seeing a frustrated aggravated overwhelmed adult who's maybe a little angry telling them to be patient so their experience of patience is that patience is of a, a kind of when you're grumpy and uh, in a hurry and impatient right it's just the opposite so now why in the world would the child value patience if their experience of patience or that word patience is of a grumpy adult who's telling them what to do and forcing them to do things they don't want to do so the mismatch between their experience and the word makes them not value the resi it's actually a resilient strength it's part of grit you know and perseverance to be patient so now they have no value of patience so why in the world would they choose to be patient if if to them it uh, the experience of patience means being grumpy and oppressive and they don't value it therefore and so why would they choose it and so then why would they act on it? Why would they act patiently, right? So what we want to do in this process of developing resilience in our kids is to give them the experience of the resilient strength that we're talking about. We want to make sure that the experience matches the word. So the first thing is that. Let's get the experience and the word to match up. That's why you wait to... Um, hear the strength in what your child is saying at the moment so that you match up the experience with the right word, right? So now they, they've got that straight, right? So now in that second step, when you're talking about how that resilient strength relates to someone in the family, you can now have a conversation about the value of that resilient strength. Well, you know, your grandpa, he was so patient, he, you know, this is a story about what happened to him and all the things he had to go through to get this result and, you know. So now you can give a story of value about that experience because people won't choose something unless they value it and they won't value it unless, until they've had the authentic experience of it. So those are the first three. Have the authentic experience, put the right word on it, so that they can then value it. Can you see my three fingers, right? And then they will then choose it, or they're more likely to choose it, right? And if they choose it, then they're more likely to act on it. Each of these steps requires refinement and practice. So what we're doing in this recognition of the resilient skills of our kids is we're practicing the experience in ourselves. We're connecting the, our child's experience with the right word, right? 
the experience, the right word, so that they can value it correctly, perhaps through stories uh, uh, in the family, but that'd be the best way. And then fourth, then they're more likely to choose it the next time a situation comes up that calls for it. And then they're more likely to act on it. So, okay, so we want the experience, we want to name it correctly, we want to value it correctly, we want to then choose it so that they can act on it. All right, I keep using my hands in all these videos. Make sense? So that's it. For th that framework is everything for this video. We're going to continue with the next set of videos about getting this little um, uh, seed that we planted to start putting out more shoots. Okay, friends, uh, if this was of value, please share it with your friends. We've got a lot of resilience building to do. The world's getting crazier by the minute. Our kids need us. Uh, we need our families to feel strong and safe havens from the insanity that's going on in the world right now. Um, and we can do this. We can absolutely do this. We're going to build strengths instead of just dealing with symptoms, right? These symptoms that are the absence of these resilient strengths. We, we want to imbue our kids with these resilient strengths that all by itself prevents or minimizes the effects of all these terrible things our kids are exposed to, okay? So, uh, My Resilient Life, post your uh, findings, what you're seeing in your family, make comments, help other parents out who are uh, struggling with things that you might have some insights in or share common struggles. Questions, put them there. Uh, I'll keep posting these videos to the My Resilient Life Facebook page and other resources as I get them. I got a couple of books and things to recommend to you um, in the next couple of videos, but we're going to be building on this framework. Okay, take care everybody. See you in the next video.